Kelsey mentioned, it's going to be hot out there yeah. at the beer cube. It's not hot right now. It's kind of a cloudy, cool, mm-hmm. showery day. But this is setting the stage mm-hmm. for some very hot weather. Here it comes. That's set to arrive, and it will arrive starting tomorrow. There's a chance we get close to 90 tomorrow, but the heat wave really kicks into gear on Friday, and it looks like the peak of it will be this weekend. A good weekend to head down the shore, to head to the Poconos. Get in the pool. You don't even want to be outside the pool. You want to be in the water or in the air conditioning because it is going to be a dangerously hot weekend in Philadelphia. Let's take a peek at what's going on outside right now. Though we'll take you out to Cape May. The shore has been seeing a few breaks in the cloud cover here and there. Mostly cloudy day, but not a lot of rain heading down the shore. And some people are out on the beach making the best of what is not the greatest beach day in Cape May. A lot of people walking along the promenade. People, I'm sure, shopping along the square there or maybe hitting up the arcades if you've got Little boys like I do that like to spend hours and hundreds of dollars on arcade games. Cape May looking pretty good this afternoon, but to the north and west, we've got some showers moving in. Here's a look at temperatures. And kind of see where the showers and the clouds are thickest or most numerous right now up across portions of our north and west suburbs from Allentown down toward Reading. It's a little bit cooler. You can see that green bubble there in the temperature map. 74 in Philly, 75 in Millville, and 75 at the Atlantic City Airport. A cool day, but it is getting a little humid out there. Dew points are rising down the shore. It's in the 70s, 77 in Cape May and 77 in Stone Harbor. But dew points back in the 60s after a few days in the 50s with very comfortable, refreshing air. Now we're starting to feel it steam up a bit as some wet weather approaches from the west. Scattered showers and storms. Most of this is going to be north and west of Philadelphia through tonight, but we can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm just about everywhere, especially from the city on north and west through the next several hours. Right now, one locally heavy shower just moving into Montgomery County there. Over toward Redding, we're seeing a few and up across the Lehigh Valley. Light showers, a little light drizzle starting to move into Philadelphia. Tonight's low will drop down to 71. Doesn't drop very far. We're in the 70s right now, but it will be muggy with scattered thunderstorms. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, hot, more humid, 89 with just a hit or miss thunderstorm. And then we kick off an extended heat wave. Jet stream lifts to the north right through the weekend and take a look at some of these heat index values. Friday, it'll feel like the mid 90s. By Saturday, it feels like 101. Sunday, it feels like 105. These are not the actual temperatures. These are the heat index values when you couple the humidity with the heat. Here are the actual temperatures. Not much better, unfortunately. 93 degrees Friday, Saturday 96, Sunday 97. And even Monday, Tuesday, and 4th of July, Wednesday, not quite as hot as Sunday, but we're still in the 90s with the chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms mm-hmm. each day. So like we said yesterday, we're going down the shore for Summerfest mm-hmm. to beat the heat. The shore, the mountains, or in a swimming pool is probably <laughs> your best bet to stay cool. Would you rather have that or wind chill? Mm-hmm. The feeling. As of right now, I'll take the heat in. Hello. But ask me on Sunday. <laughs> <All right. laughs> exactly. Thanks,